Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of Technically Jeff. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, um, but since this is one of my first technical video videos, I'm just going to give a little bit of background on myself. I uh, was in the Air Force for 12 years, I worked on F-15 avionics, and later cross-trained to do military intelligence. Uh, worked for NSA for three years, was sent to Iraq as an interrogation analyst for seven months, and then um, left the Air Force from Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska. And after that I started my own company called First Aid Cellular doing phone repair, tablet repair, iPod repair and whatnot. Um, that was fairly successful. Later sold out to another company um, and then was later rehired with uh, Selectel Wireless to head up their repair department. And over the time that I've been doing this. I've seen um, all kinds of things with the iPhone is what we're going to focus on today. As you can see here I got my iTunes uh, opened up and I've got my personal iPhone plugged in. I have a 64 gig uh, iPhone 6s and some of the information here you can see capacity, phone number, serial number, the iOS version that is installed and if there are any updates available it'll show up here in this uh, block here. And if you go down to backups you got a couple different options. You got iCloud, um, the computer and then if any backups were done to this computer or the iCloud and when the last backup was accomplished. Um, this encrypt iPhone backup is if you're really want to make sure that your data is safe whenever it's backed up to a PC or on your phone if you're gonna leave your phone with somebody to have it repaired or whatever probably be a good idea to encrypt the iPhone backup that way they wouldn't be able to take a snapshot of your um, phone of course this can also be avoided by um, putting on a passcode um, using a passcode that's longer than the standard four digits enabling the longer passcodes would increase the security on the phone as well down here in the, under the options um, you, can, you can click this automatically sync when the iPhone is connected I particularly don't care for that you know, I usually have that unclicked unless I specifically want um, that to do that every time I plug my phone into my computer and then uh, sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. Once this is set up, um, then every time your phone comes onto your Wi-Fi network and your computer is on, it should sync your device. Okay, so when it comes to backing up, there's two different types here that get iCloud backup or to this computer. Um, now the difference between the two of these is iCloud will only back up the little radio buttons in your settings that you actually enable or turn on. Um, it's not going to back up your whole entire phone. Now when you actually click this computer it's actually going to back up the whole entire phone including um, message pictures, SMS pictures, calls, your phone book, um, any errors within the phone that are causing software issues, that'll all be backed up because it's going to back up the apps, all the settings. Every single file within your phone should be, um, a, they'll put a copy basically on your computer um, to find those copies on your computer. You would actually go to your hard drive and let me find it here. You're going to go to your C drive, your users, app data, and Apple computer. We'll sync backup. Okay. So here's my last backup file here. So it's in the C drive, users, uh, whatever you name your computer. Mine just particularly be my name, Jeff. Uh, app data. And in order to find the app data, you probably have to enable uh, hidden items because it is a hidden folder. 
uh, roaming, Apple computer, mobile sync, and backup. And as you can see, it's going to be a folder that's going to have all these long characters. And yeah, all your files are going to be in there. And you can sort these by size. These bigger ones here are going to be video files, most likely. Um, and then when you get down to these three, four gigabyte files, those are most likely going to be images. All the way down to the smallest files here. Okay. Um, one thing to note if you break your screen on your iPhone and it punches in your pin code a whole bunch of times and it locks the phone out and it becomes disabled. Since I have synced to this computer and I'm actually signed in to iTunes with this phone, um, should that happen to me, all I'd have to do is plug into this computer again that I backed up um, or have a backup on and that iPhone is disabled should go away. Um, the only other way to get that to go away is to wait out the minutes, if it has minutes listed there, or um, to restore the phone completely. And then if you're curious about it, down here at this bottom, um, there's it tells you all the, you know, how much you got free. 25, I have 25 gigs free. Um, there's 1.44 gigabyte of other documents and data, apps photos and audio so it'll break down how much of what is taken up on your phone okay so let's say you back this up here and you are wanting to know how to access that well let's close out iTunes here and we're going to open up another program This I bought early on because I was having a lot of water damage phones come in. People were wanting me to um, recover their data. So the program is called Wondershare. And this is a paid version of this app. Um, if you're on a trial, you're limited by what you can and can't um, recover from it. So here you can see all these um, types of things you can recover from the phone. So you have app photos, videos, documents, voicemails, memos, photos, thumbnails, messenger and attachments, notes. So pretty much everything on your phone you could scan it and recover all this stuff. So my phone's connected so if I hit scan it would actually start to search for all these types of things or I could unclick certain ones that I did not want. Um, or I can recover from a backup file. So here's that backup file here. So if I actually started to hit start scan, that would show me everything that was on my phone as of June 1st. And it tells me the type of phone it was and what iOS version and how large it was and the serial number of my phone. Um, Another interesting feature of this app is you can actually recover from your iCloud backup file. Um, so let's go ahead and type in my ID here. And this will actually go out to the iCloud and tell me all the different backups in the iCloud that exist. Um, so you can see I have an iPad. And some of these aren't that big. So you can see the size difference. The other one was 11 gigs. These are only just under the largest ones, just over 800 megabytes. So you can see the size difference. You know, it's not even quite a gig. So backing up to my PC versus backing up to the iCloud, you know, there's about a 10 gigabyte difference. So that just gives you an idea of the size difference and how much more stuff's being backed up from your device to a computer versus doing it through the iCloud. Um, now there's nothing wrong with the iCloud. It does a really good job of 
organizing your contacts, your pictures. Um, once your iCloud is full, um, you have 30 days to get your uh, pictures back off of that iCloud before they're automatically deleted by Apple. So if you do go over your size limit, you do have some time to get your pictures off there. Um, but it is nice to um, set that sync up over Wi-Fi or just when you get home, plug your, plug your phone in. Um, it only takes less than 30 minutes. Um, I've seen some really large phones take up to 30 minutes to back up, but for the most part, it's just going to append any changes that have made, been made to your phone after that initial backup. Uh, and then down here we got more tools. So some of these are in beta or trial. Um, looks like they got an iOS private data eraser, full data eraser, backup, and restore. What's that? WhatsApp transfer backup and restore and an iOS system recovery. So I haven't used these too many too much. Um, haven't really needed to. But I hope this has been helpful. Give you an idea of what the difference between the iTunes and the iCloud backup is, and sh why it's a good idea to actually plug your phone into iTunes and do that restore or the the sync at least once just in case your screen does break and multiple attempts on your passcode are put in and, and it basically disables your phone but um, it's also nice this feature here this recover from uh, the iCloud if you're in a remote location and you need something off your phone you happen to not have your phone um, you would be able to download these um, here and then access um, most of your files that you've actually synced so hope that's been informative give me some feedback um, let me know what other kind of stuff you'd like to see and we'll see you later